right, sit down on the floor. How much you figure? 40 million. But I got bad news for you. Is that a badge in your hand? DEA. The Icelandic director Balthazar Kormakor jets into America to commandeer this tale of two deep cover lawmen on the front line of the drugs war. When Washington and Wahlberg aren't bickering and bantering, they're shooting crooks and torching cars and generally breaking the rules to get results. We gotta figure out whose money that was. Well, like we're working together? No, not like we're working. Yeah! No, like we're working in the same vicinity. Together. In the same area code. Together. You ripped off the CIA. Where's the money? It ain't down there, I can guarantee you that. Peter, if you liked Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2, you're going to kind of like this. You're going to more or less feel indifferent in the same way. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, um, it's almost like A-listers Westworld, really. Denzel and Mark, we were seeing the Denzel bot and the Mark Wahlberg bot kind of go through the motions in exactly the way you'd expect. I mean, it really was eerie. It's as if they had replicated themselves and were in Malibu while they were shooting, doing something else. It, it, they were doing, going through the motions, really. Lots of spurious explosions, lots of gunfights, uh, borderline offensive use of one single female character played yeah. by Paula Patton, who really she had likes nothing. Dancing around. She likes dancing around yeah. in her underwear, yeah. and that's all she gets to do. Nothing really. to do, no nothing to wear. No, nothing to do, nothing to wear. Certainly doesn't take any part in any action in any way. It is the most offensive thing, really. There's a few funny things in it, I suppose. They're kind of good. Even, kind of, even going through the motions, even kind of going there's through the motions. a Yes, that's true. It. I have a kind of respect for the zen of Mark Wahlberg, particularly, who is the most unactory actor of anyone I think I've ever seen. He's just doing what he does. And Denzel is a class turn and always brings something to the mm. party. But I don't know, yeah. I mean, if it was, I don't know, if it was Michael Bay doing it, it would have been even worse. But uh, Balthazar Komukar, this guy who worked with Mark Wahlberg on, uh, Contraband. on Contraband, that's right. He, he's such a safe pair of hands. He's a kind of interesting director yeah. over in Iceland. He did yeah. a great film called Jar City. Yes, exactly. Um, Breaking Me 101. It was interesting. Breaking and he's an actor as well. Yeah. Uh, and yet, what, what's the problem? He's, he's just become a Hollywood hack? He's just become... He had this, he had this entree into Hollywood through the Contraband remake of uh, Reykjavik... What was it? Reykjavik Rotterdam. Yeah. He, he acted in that. And then Mark Wahlberg took it over as a as a property, and that gave, as I understand it, Komoko his big break in Hollywood. And then he just basically he put all his, as it were, or, authorial identity to one side and became a kind of technical director, uh, and took what must have been presumably a nice paycheck for doing it. And good luck to him. You know mm. that was his career break in Hollywood. Mm. Uh, but as far as the rest of us in the auditorium are concerned, well, he's just another. He's just another hack, really, which is a shame because, of course, he didn't start out that way. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, whoa, Drop whoa, the Bobby. gun. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Nice yeah. and easy. Can't do that. Why not? Well, I got him first. I got dibs. I got a 44. I'm taking Poppy. Give me the keys. You want him? Come get him. I see the wheels turning. You're thinking, hmm, a little blindfold. Maybe use your teeth. That's not what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking? What? Oh, shit, man. How's that? That was uncalled for. Shit, you know, I liked you better when you were, I know a guy, Bobby. I mean, that Bobby was a yeah, good guy. Well, I liked you better when you were winking at waitresses and shooting the heads off of chickens. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Shit! You saw that move coming? That's correct. Give me the keys. Damn, you're good. When you go back to your hometown, you feel alienated. I suggest you get on your way. Most of the parts that I play are just things that I got. It's that thing when you're... There's a more true version of yourself. You got a very attractive young lady over there staying with you. 